Hi. So at the weekend, I was looking for tools that tell you a little bit about your source, a bit like statistic and other things. And I remembered this tool, which I first discovered in, in July. And so this is the first tool I would like to show you, which is able to, to tell you things about your code and which is free. Um, so this tool is called OOVCDE.exe. Um, and you find it on SourceForge, but it's also on GitHub. So if you don't trust SourceForge, then just go to GitHub. Um, I put the link. So as you see, I just loaded my project into this application. Um, there you see just the different folders and classes I have here. And currently, um, it's able to also display the files in some editor window um, and giving you different options here. But I, I'm not looking at, at this as an editor, as an IDE. I'm looking at this as a tool which actually pr produces pretty cool um, graphs and graphics about your code. And um, so let's close that and look at one some of those graphics. Um, it shows you include graphs, but only the include graphs of the local files. Um, so that it doesn't really show you uh, which uh, system headers you include. Um, and I'm not sure if that's possible to include. Um, the settings of the program are very spare. Um, but the really interesting graph is this one, which shows you dependencies and uh, also function relations. You can you know, have your settings here. And if you actually activate uh, show, child show, show child zones, then um, you see this um, graph where you have to zoom in to see actually something. So um, this is the different folders and the different um, relations between them, uh, which you can, you know, um, this is just uh, the folders. Um, this is the classes. The function relations are off. The dependencies are off. Um, classes are off. Child zones are off. Um, so now it's only one circle. And if I activate child zones again, then um, each child is a different circle, obviously, now. And if I, again, you know, show classes. Um, it's a very complex diagram, but it gives you a good overview on where your classes are. Um, it also picks up some classes like the boost archive um, here, uh, which are not too happy about, but also, for example, it picks up the classes of the of the UI, which is uh, like an internal thing for Qt. But actually, you're supposed to also be able to apply filters to this, so you can filter this view. And um, so this is one of the views you have. Um, and you also can, this is uh, a different view where you can um, you. And you also can um, enable and disable certain parts of your program, so just have the overview you need. Um, it also has very interesting class views, as you see. Um, it automatically generates those nice UML-like diagrams for your classes. It does not generate this like for a whole folder or for a whole project just for a single class. And if I click on menu, um, menu is actually one uh, not menu, module. Module is one of the more interesting classes because most of my classes don't have any children. I don't derive very much in this program. And uh, the, the one exception is module. Module is actually um, the class which is responsible for having um, different types which resemble content in, in a list of modules in, in a page or in a layout. Um, so this is a very important uh, feature in my CMS and that's actually derived. I did that on purpose and um, the other classes mostly are not derived. They're often, you know, like this entry has, um, of course, nothing, but there's a class called entry list, which call which includes a list entry as a list. So here we see um, the entry.
entry list and it does not pick that up. Also, uh, one funny bug is that it seems to think that the name, default author, etc. of an entry list is, is int, but actually that's supposed to be std string. Um, so this tool currently does not pick up the standard classes and boost includes very well and um, that's the only bad thing I currently see is I really would like to have in those that it picks up std string and maybe I can set this somewhere maybe I have to set the includes correctly um, the information it actually it actually gets those info it actually gets the information from clang and I'm, I'm not sure if I have set everything uh, up correctly currently. And then it has this uh, portion view where you can see um, the, the methods and the variables and um, it shows them which methods access which um, variables. Let's see if I can find a class where we actually can see this in action. Um, yeah, uh, it, this is not very usable in, in my case. In, in, in a bigger use, uh, in a bigger. Um, so here you see that uh, update dir actually calls has dir and then calls generate. Um, row count accesses something which is not known. Um, so uh, here we have something, you know, set changed and has changed, uh, access the variable has changed. Um, there are actually a few classes which are a bit more interesting, like this one here, um, layout item panel, which then has a bit more action on this diagram. Um, I also find that this uh, operation diagram is actually picking up a few things, but um, my classes are usually not, or my, my functions are usually not so um, interweaved that this diagram is really showing a lot. But in other code bases, or maybe in your own code bases, probably will show you a lot of things, and it's probably very good to give you an overview in, in a different code base. And then the journal shows what you currently like have open. Um, you is some statistics what actually was was uh, what actually is what I was looking for um, it can analyze the complexity and uh, shows you this and uh, that's something which I don't like it's like opening into Explorer for this um, and has like a really detailed overview on everything here um, all the classes and the methods are here uh, it shows you the class name, operation name, um, the carbo complexity, or the complexity. Um, I'm not sure what that all, all of that means. It shows like um, the complexity of classes and uh, their own complexity. Um, and yeah, there's an article if you want to have the details on this. So. That's all the project which I have. But then also it can show you the member usage. Again, it opens uh, Internet Explorer for this. I'm not too happy about that. Um, it can show you duplicates, but um, otherwise, yeah, I don't have any. Um, what really interesting is the project statistics. Uh, here I have like 114 files, I have 80 classes, 423 uh, operations and attributes are 228, um, then average classes per file um, is almost by one. Um, yeah, operations per class, attributes per class, op max operations per class is 27 in layout and max attributes per class is 20 in document. Um, And then it had also line statistics. Again, we see 
see something in, in the Internet Explorer. So there's really detailed analytics in this program hidden. Unfortunately, it always opens the Internet Explorer for I don't know why. Um, and also it can create a CMake method. That's interesting. Um, still have to look on, on, on some of the things in here. 